the email recipient and suppression list decide exactly whom your emails go to. So using these two lists you can make sure that your email is as targeted as possible. So you can uh, let me tell you how an example of how to use these lists. So you can either go for a, a list that is already present maybe all the uh, list that is already created or you can create a new recipient list based on certain criteria. Now I can create a list to leads who have done a particular activity. It could be that they have already uh, clicked on an email that I've sent or they have uh, you know uh, uh, subscribed to webinars that I have uh, made so far so that you know I can say hey thank you for subscribing or so or something. Or I can make sure that I send it to people who have already attended a webinar of mine that I've conducted. If you want to select this criteria then go to notes and write the uh, title of the webinar that you have uh, already mentioned. So mastering the email editor in lead square is a webinar that I have conducted recently. If you guys have not checked it out do please go check it out and I shall see uh, who these leads are. This is how I find them. Now I shall save it as uh, maybe uh, I'll give this uh, list a name. Save it and then add these people to my recipient list. So now the email campaign I send out will be targeted to only these 46 people who have performed a particular activity that I have designated. The suppression lists help me suppress those whom I don't want the email to be sent to. For example, in this people who have 46 people who have attended the webinar, I have already emailed some of them and I don't want to email these same people again. I will create a suppression list for those people who have e email is sent. And I'll type the email that I've already sent. It could be any email campaign or it could be any drip campaign and I shall add this criteria and find leads. And it's again the same rule. I shall save it at a static list and then add those lists here. Uh, the tags that marketing tags here will help you uh, make this email campaign more searchable so that you can classify it separately. It is solely for your own convenience so that you can save it and search for it better. And the recipients who get it will not be able to see this information. They won't know how you have exactly classified your email campaigns. So that's it guys. I hope you understood it. The recipient list and the suppression list. They will definitely help you make your email campaigns more targeted. If you have more questions just email support at leadsquare.com and we will help you out. That's all for now. Bye bye.